Hello YouTube, this is Element33458 here, and uh, I will be showing you today how to downgrade your iPhone 3G, iPod Touch, 2nd, 3rd generation from iOS 4, which is software 4.0.1 or 4.0, it doesn't really matter which one, back down to 3.1.3. .3. Now you're wondering probably why you would want to do this. Well. A few reasons if you're on the iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2nd generation. You don't get multitasking. Or you don't get wallpapers. Well, I, th I said I'm just going to jailbreak it and enable that. So I did. And, uh, you know, went on to Cydia. And uh, tried to multitask and it was really, really slow. The wallpapers worked fine, but... I, I didn't really care. I don't really care about that because I'm jailbreaker. And, well, I tried to install some of my favorite city apps, like, you know, Android Lock. Well, turns out some of the apps aren't really compatible with software 4.0, so I didn't really like it. And, uh, I spent hours trying to figure out how to do this. And, uh,. There's a few different ways using Rekboot, not just the regular Rekboot. They came out with a new update, so just to prove to you. I'm not going to actually do this process with you, but uh, I will t tell you how I do it step by step. As you can see, my iPhone is on software 3.1.3. And there's my iPhone. Let's see? Yeah. Well, you get the point. Um... First of all, you're going to want to download the 3.1.3 firmware files, like everything. And then you're going to want to put your device in the DFU mode. And if you do not know what that is, holding down top button, home, power off button, I mean, for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And just to let you know, I'm not actually doing this. And then without letting go of the power button hold down the home button for another 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten letting go of the power button and holding the home button down still not letting go just holding it down until your computer recognizes the device now it'll come up as a you know a, dev uh, a device in recovery mode and, uh, do not, do not, it, it's not in recovery mode. It, you will know if it's, there's a distinct difference between recovery mode and DFU mode. DFU mode, there's a black screen, there's no recovery logo on it. And, uh, the recovery mode is, uh, with the recovery logo on the actual device. So, um, either way, if it's in recovery, uh, I mean DFU or recovery, it'll still say it's in recovery no matter what. So what you're going to want to do is hold shift and hit restore. And I guess I will do that right now. And I'll bring you up to a bunch of firmware. And here's my firmware right here. It's saved to my desktop. But I'm not actually going to click that, because, but you're going to click it, you're going to click it, and, uh, it'll run its course, it'll extract the software, and it'll try to install it, and it won't install it, it'll come up with a 1015 error, and, uh, the way you're going to get out of this, here, I'm just going to unplug my iPhone really quick, after it, to fix this, after it's done with the 1015 error, it's you're gonna click OK, and it iTunes will not recognize your device for a few seconds. Then it'll come back into iTunes, and it'll say it's back in recovery mode, and just leave it like that. Do not do anything. Do not do nothing. All right. So after iTunes recognizes it, you're gonna want to open up this rec boot file and I'm just gonna download it and run it because I don't really I don't really save my files since 
I don't like my uh hold on just a second what is going on all right here we go now I'm just gonna ask you to uh, save or open I just open but you could save if you want if you really just want to keep it all right then you're gonna have to unzip the file as usual if you've done this before I do this a lot so <laughs> alright now it's gonna bring you to the rec boot file you're gonna click on it now it'll bring you up to a list of different different programs which is .exe you see this weird one at the top well I P H U C Win 32.exe, iTunnel.exe, Recboot.exe, Readline 5.dll, Enter.bat, Exit.bat. All right. Well, what usually works for most people, which I tried first because I looked it up on YouTube. I tried Recboot first, just the regular Recboot.exe, mm -hmm. and I got the uh, the framework thing. And it's not, it wasn't working. And even when I did get it to work, the actual program to come off, it's, it, it, I clicked, don't, I mean, I clicked exit recovery mode and it still would not work. So I went down, I just, I was trying all these files and I clicked exit bet. I clicked run. And see, I don't have my iPhone plugged in because I don't know what to do to it if it was still plugged in. But it says right there, we'll try to kick connected devices out of recovery mode. And you should get an Apple screen. And, you know, if you have an iPhone, it'll uh, kick it into the emergency lock screen. But that's not an issue because I have AT&T. But if you don't have AT&T, it's not that big a deal. You just got to un unlock it with Snowbreeze with 3.1.3. So, it's really easy. And uh, if it's an iPod Touch, you know, you just, you know, set it up in iTunes and you sync all your music. And, um, well, that should be it. I have my, all my compatible Cydia apps now. And I don't have multitasking, thank God, because it's really slow. And, uh... Yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever, um, alright, bye.